Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and this is the Jack Wolf Knives Benny Clip. And that stands for the Clip Point. What a beautiful Clip Point. Nice, deep, hollow ground M390 blade. Now, this one, unlike the other Jack Wolf Knives, had a full hollow. This one has... Uh, it doesn't have a full hollow. You can see how the grind starts about three quarters up the blade. So, very, very beautiful satin finish on that. Whew. Now, the handle is fat carbon fiber, titanium scales, and then look at this. Look at the size difference. Much larger with the Benny clip than any of the other ones I've tried. So while these ones are very comfortable and I love the size of them, this one is very, very ergonomic. It has a larger size to it. So you're gonna be able to, you know, be a little bit tougher on it, especially, you know, considering the grind. Um, it's still a nice thin hollow, so it's gonna be extra, extra mega slicey, but, you know, since it's not a full hollow, it's going to add a little bit more strength in the blade. Not that you really need that with a slip joint, but, you know, it's still there. Love the swedge on that clip. Oh, you can see the satin. It just plays with the light stonewashed on the flats. The fat carbon fiber, what a gorgeous cut that really plays with the light. It almost seems like it's glowing at you, like a toxic green. You got the hardware, nice large hardware. It's not small. I think that's T8 all the way around, um, no, except for the pivot. I think the pivot is T10, just to be sure really quick. Yeah, so I think they're T10 or T12 with the pivot. It's probably T12. It's pretty big. Now the pull super duper snappy you gotta love the action on these the walk and talk perfectly centered the blade to handle ratio so you do have the the nail nick yeah i don't really use nail nicks i prefer to be able to just grab it and that's a, um, a reason why i like a lot of these jack wolves like this one it has you have the ability to just grip it and kind of squeeze the blade out and snap it out i love that this one you can't do that quite as much with, but there's plenty of blade to grip it and slip it out. So no problems with the action, and I love the sound of it. Let's hear a little bit of the walk and talk action. Beautiful walk and talk action. Absolutely love that. Now, with this blade shape, it does have a little bit of trailing with the tip. So, not going to be a utility cutter basically at all because you not saying you can't open up a package or something like that. Of course you can, but the tip is all the way up here if you want to do like some sort of utility cut. So, you're going to use the belly. It's going to be all belly. Belly for days. Stasa 23 would say belly for days. And yes, it does. So, it's going to be more of the slicing action where you use that belly to, to kind of do roll cuts or belly cuts. Um, going to be really good for like skinning and fishing and things like that. Um, now for EDC, you know, it's still going to be, you're still going to be able to, you know, get behind things, you know, like cutting tape. You can just use the belly and do that. And you can still use the tip if you really, really need to. So no problems with that. Lots of flat here. So if you are actually doing some slicing or breaking down cardboard or popping some straps or anything, you're gonna have plenty of length. And then with that belly right there, if you do have like rope or twine or straps, you can get that belly down there and really, you know, crank onto that belly. And it's so thin and so slicey, it's gonna cut like a champ. The titanium bolsters look really good. The fit, the finish is just, it's untouched, man. You, you can't, you can't, you almost can't beat this fit and finish. Even the spine of the blade, or the spine of the spring and the blade where it matches up, you almost can't even see it. I mean, the fit and finish is insane on these. 
Now the pole strength, let's talk about that. Now, with this one, because you have the blade hanging out near the tip, this one's gonna be easier to pull out. You just, you have more leverage, more pull. Um, with this one, you have to pull it back here. You can't pull it up here. You have to pull it back here. So this one's going to be a little bit stronger of a pull. So I would rate this one on the pull on the open probably an 8. No, I, yeah, like a 7 or an 8. Um, I can't say 9 because a 9 would be me having to put my nail in there and I would have to pull it out that way and it like bending my nail. It's not like that at all. I can still pinch it, I can still pull it, and I can use my nail if I want to. So it's, it's just pushing an 8. Now, once you get to the half stop, that you you have a lot of tension here too which is good because at that point you can hang on to the grind where you where it goes from the thin hollow up to the thickest point which gives you a lot of leverage so you have a good grip on the handle and the blade so now getting past that nice strong pull here and it locks in place it is very very solid yes i could still push it forward but in order to close it it does take quite a bit of effort like it's not uh it's not easy to do at all in order to close it it would take quite a bit and i'd have to keep my fingers out of the way but anyways it, it's really good so nice snap on it on the open very strong snap so yeah like i said about an, a seven to an eight on the pull open and then i would say a six on the snap because you have so much leverage you know it would be even stronger if it wasn't for the leverage you had i probably rated about a seven or an eight if i you know because any knife you know when you're to this point this can be strong because you have a lot of leverage now, shout out to Je sorry, shout out to Ben over at Jack Wolf Knives. Such a good dude, one of the best dudes, and um, I do appreciate him sending me these so that I can get them on the channel to show to you guys because I just love them. I absolutely love these. Um, as of right now, this one has been my favorite. Um, it's just so awesome, man. I love the co the coffin-shaped handle. Love the blade and the grind. So personally, my favorite blades on a slip are sheep's foots, worn cliffs, and spear points. The look of the spear point, I think, is the best look, um, especially if it's a full hollow spear. Um, the clip points, ah, uh, you know, I, I'm a I'm I like a straight clip better than a trailing clip point. But, you know, I can still appreciate them. I still love them. You know, we're always going to have our favorites and our least favorites, you know. Uh, so, my my favorite would be, like I said, probably a balance between the sheep's foot, the worn cliff, and a spear point. Um, and it's hard for me to pick which one I like the best. I think if I had to pick which blade, it would have to have something to do with the handle because I love all three blade shapes so much or a mixture between them, you know, like a modified Warncliffe or a modified sheep's foot. Um, but this one, like I said right now, has been my favorite just because of so many different things between the blade, the grind, the handle, the pull, the, the everything. And then now this one, you know, being a little bit larger... This one, I'm, I'm going to, you know, it, the handle is definitely probably the most comfortable yet. Um, yeah, I can't, I, like, as much as I love this handle and the shape of it, and I probably like it even more because of the shape, I don't know. It's hard to say that because this one's definitely more comfortable. That, that's, I can't even argue that with myself. It is way more comfortable because it tapers from thinner to thicker. So you have a little bit more leverage between the pinky and the ring finger, and it's larger. So, yeah, this one's definitely the most comfortable handle yet. And you can kind of grip back and let that, that uh, the bottom of the handle really sit in your palm. Yeah, this is awesome. So these will be up for sale Friday, September 16th at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. So um, keep an eye out on them. I will link 
OCD for EDC. I will tag him down in the description so you can easily go and check out his website. He has lots of other things on his website as well, but he does carry the Jack Wolf knives. That's who I always recommend you go and buy them from. So, like I said, he will be linked and tagged down in the description if you do want to get one of these. You got to love the packaging, the whole setup, man. Just the whole shebang is so badass. It makes you feel good about buying one. And, you know, like, uh, like they, you know, like, they kind of say, you know, it's a modern interpretation of, you know, a traditional. You have modern materials with a, with a traditional style. Um, even the packaging is traditional yet modern. And I love that, man. So, awesome, awesome job. The leather sheath. I love these things. They work really good. Now, I'll be honest, I do. I did buy, and like I said, I'll, I'll link it down in the description. If you go, I'm not sure if there's any available on his site, but this is what I carry my my um, my Midnight in. I carry my Midnight in this one, and this is by Lancelot Leathers. That's who does them, but they're on OCD for EDC's website if you want to get yourself a pocket slip. And what's cool about the slip is that you can leave it in your pocket and get your knife without pulling out the slip. The slip doesn't pull out of your pocket when you grip it and you pull it out. It just it stays right in the pocket and lets you pull it in and out. I love that. These are really good quality though. If you don't want to buy an extra slip, these work great. You just slap them right down at the bottom of your pocket. Um, this one is a little bit larger though, so you actually have more to grip onto to pull it out of the slip. If I show you the other one, you can see how this one goes deeper because of the size difference. You know, not by a lot, but by a little bit, you know. So, but regardless, they still both fit just, you know, just fine. This one hasn't broken in yet. They do break in. Um, right now, they're very nice and tight. Leave that in there. Let it form really good. This one does have the biggest ass of all the knives. Um, but anyways, there you guys go. I love you guys. Like I said, everything will be down in the description. Peace.